Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And it's too noisy at the house with the roof going on or the old one coming off right now and the underlayment going down to shoot any videos at the house. And then today, what tends to happen at the airport, which is right next to our property, in the summertime are drag races. They have them like once or twice a month on Saturday and Sundays. And so it's gonna to be too loud to shoot anything out of the property, I think, today. I might still go out and try, but I had to make a run to the store. I haven't been here in a few weeks and we really need to get some milk and a few other things. So I decided I'd take you along. I'm not sure how much video I'm gonna get. Um, it's because it's weekend and it's summer and we live in a tourist town, the store is probably gonna be pretty busy. Oh, and because the drag races are going on. So uh, it'll depend. We might at least run into my son who works here and we can say hi to him. But uh, I just thought you might want to see our one-stop shopping. We have one grocery store. It is a great store. It is, I've really watched it evolve just in the 30 years I've lived here. And it's really come a long ways. It has, it has pretty much everything except for feed for chickens and stuff like that. But they have a good pet supply section and other stuff. So I'll try to shoot some video in there. We'll see how it goes. All right, so starting with the outside view, um, this section right here, as you can see, is the hardware section, and then we have a clothing section and the grocery section. And right out front here, summertime, they have an ongoing barbecue. And then way over there is a the farmer's market. So there's quite a few cars here, but not packed. So we'll head on in and see how things go. Right here's our floral department. This is only here this time of year is packed with stuff this year as they usually have but they typically have some really nice gardening stuff and just really really cute things look at this bird house it's adorable i usually try not to look at this stuff when i come through here just because there's so many things i like oh and there's constantly birds living right up in there Despite all the spikes they put up there. Oh, I like those solar lights. Those are cool. Look at these. Okay, we'll head on into the grocery section. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? More goodies over here. And even more right here, right outside their little coffee shop. There's a coffee shop in there. Okay, and even more stuff here. <laughs> lots of lots of gardening related stuff. And to the produce department. Oh, and look who's here. Here's my son. I told you we might see him. So here I am with my youngest boy, Justin. Yep. Thought I'd do a. He's kind of laughing. Yeah. He's kind of laughing because I'm actually doing a video of our local store. I mean, who cares, right? Well, some people do. Anyway, say hi to everyone. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I grabbed the last of the organic bananas. Thought it came in when I did because we're out of bananas too. So really nice produce section. This is a this is our organic section. So even for our small remote town, we have a pretty decent. Uh, amount of organic foods. Alright, gotta come down here. At least it's a quiet aisle. And I gotta get some rubber bands for our colloidal silver generators and the many other things that we use rubber bands for. So I'm always needing the smaller ones. Look like they have a lot of small ones in here. A couple of those. So there is our bakery section. Alright, and then we have a really nice, this is a clearance shoes right here on this rack. And we just have a really great supply. We got the Romeos. This is men's section. Lots of great shoes 
available here. So typically we'll buy our, like if we gotta get new boots and things like that, we'll get them here because the price is the same here as pretty much anywhere else. So it's pretty comparable. Lots of great stuff. So if you ever come to this area, you know that you can kind of have a one-stop shopping place. And around the corner here, we head into the clothing section. This actually used to be the hardware section, and the shoe section used to be the clothing section. But that over there is, Robert, is new several years TV. back, Robert, and that is TV. now, that whole area is hardware and sporting goods. So, it's all our stuff here, and of course, as to be expected. Don't see as much Twilight stuff as we used to, but I think we still have a corner dedicated just to Twilight because, well, this is Forks. Very big clothing section for a small town like this. And again, the prices on this stuff is actually pretty comparable to anywhere else. So if I'm going to buy new clothes, I prefer to do that here. And on this opposite side is just socks all the way down, work gloves, and hats. And I do actually have to go into the side of the store because I need a few things over here as well. And I need some more washing soda. The funny thing about the washing soda is it's actually not in the laundry section, it's in the hardware section with the cleaning supplies in the hardware section. Interesting. Lots of, lots of hardware, lots of tools and all kinds of stuff in here. It really, really is a great store. And they have tons of camping supplies, outdoor things. Uh, this time of year they set out all the picnic table, camping related stuff out here. And they have just a lot of lovely housewares. I have to go back over and grocery because I forgot to grab my natural sponges. And I'll back in there, more kitchen stuff. And if I pan, there's that clothing department again. I'm on the opposite side, opposite end. And you can see more tools, lanterns, all kinds of stuff. Lighting. Pass by the clothes from this side. There's the cohort stuff. My favorites. Of course, Columbia, that's a big brand around here too. Okay, so I just got the groceries loaded up into the back of the pickup. You can see three whole bags. That's all I needed after two or three weeks of not coming to the store. And uh, this is pretty much extra because I got two things of ice cream in there for Mr. Rain since he's working hard on putting that, to uh, dealing with that roof. Actually, I almost forgot to get the potting soil at the bottom of the cart. I did get that too because I'm going to be making, I got a lot of baby aloe vera, so I'm going to be making some plants to give to family and friends. All right, well, that was my big exciting shopping trip, but I thought maybe some of you, since you liked our coastal trip, maybe you'd like to see what our local store looks like. It really, really is a great store. I hope you could hear me talking. I was trying to keep it low because there was quite a few people in there, and I did stop and talk, chat with a few people in the I felt kind of it's kind of embarrassing because you know people are looking at you like you're all weird but whatever so I just kind of gave you a sneak peek of what her store looks like for such a small town it really has a lot of stuff I mean yeah there's a lot of things we still can't get locally that we have to rely on Amazon or going into town to get but you know like my special organic chicken feed that I like so much for the chickens but really it's a great place uh, so on the way home from the store right around the corner there the neighbor had some uh had these jars sitting there for free. So look, a whole bunch of canning jars. The bands are a little rusty, but the jars are all in great shape. So mostly regular mouth and the and the small, but I need more of these anyway, so this was really great. Um, there's a few wide mouths in there. Prefer wide mouths, but I have uses for the regular mouth, so. And one more thing I wanted to say, the reason I decided we get a choice of paper or plastic, usually I get paper, but I'm stocking up on the plastics. I use them recycle them for garbage but I have people there wanting to buy the hand crocheted totes that I made out make out of plastic bags which I plan to do a video on eventually so to show you how to do that and here's a picture right here of what of a couple of my completed bags of totes so you can see what those look like and uh, they make really good reusable bags for beach or for shopping so okay all right before I finish up this video I wanted to show you these uh 
sponges that I get. I I do, the washcloths are great. Um, I really am liking these sponges. I like having a good scrubby sponge and they last for a decent amount of time. Uh, I would say at least as long as the other kind, but they're made all out of plant-based products and some of it's a recycled materials and some of it, the scrubbing part is made from agave plant or 50%. And the sponges are 100% plant-based fibers. I'm guessing maybe 50% of the scrubbing is probably uh, maybe the recycled material. It could be plastic or something. They don't scratch and uh, I don't know. I just, I like them. So a good, something you may want to consider. A little more expensive than your other kinds, but I'm pretty happy with these ones. Well, okay, I'm uh, in the house. i am uh, got to finish getting the groceries put away. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It might be a little bit different, but some of you seem to really like the coastal one that we did. So I thought we'll do a little tour of our local store, especially with me running out of places to shoot videos. They're already making noise and I have to keep stopping. But anyway, I thought maybe you might enjoy just a, a quick tour of our, our local store that has quite a bit of stuff for such a small place. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.